What's up, Santa Hand Tribe? And welcome back to another lit video. Today, Tribe, we have a special, special video for y'all. Today, as you see from the title, I'm going to be testing Hand's innocence. Innocence. Oh my god. Yes, I seen some other couples do this video and I was like, why not ask Han some juicy questions to test her innocence? <laughs> <laughs> We're back with the bangers. We miss y'all so much. If y'all could just hit that thumbs up button for this video. Hit that subscribe button and turn your notification bells on because today we're about to get the tea from hand. You better be honest too. Does it have to be 100% honest? 100% honest? What are you talking about? Does it have to be? Yes. Well, to be honest, Trav, I have no idea the questions that he's going to ask. So I'm extremely nervous. Like, I don't know how I'm going to react to this video. That's the point of this video. I know, but I'm very nervous. You should be. These are some crazy questions, and I need you to be 100% honest. That's all I need, okay? okay. Be 100% honest. Hold your right hand up and say, I'm going to be 100% honest with the tribe. Right hand. Um, say it. I'm going to be 100% honest with the tribe. Yes. Okay, y'all, we're testing hands innocent <laughs> let's get straight to the questions first of all can i ask you something do you know the answers to these questions no that's why i'm asking you oh uh, i thought you were asking me for the tribe no i am asking you straightforward for me and the tribe all right these are questions we're getting all the tea today i know you're just making me nervous as you should be like it's getting a little hot in here good here we go. All I need you to be is 100% honest. All right, I'm, I'm That's gonna be it. honest. Okay. You cannot judge me though. No. Just right be hand. Honest. Right hand. I'm not going to judge you. There's no judgment in this video. We're just testing your innocence. All right, let's go. Okay. Here we go. First question Have you snuck a boy in your parents' house growing up? Well, I can say definitely not my dad's house because my stepmom used to sleep on the porch. So, like, there was no way that I could sneak at my dad's house. At my mom's house, I can't fully say the same. So, explain. So, yes, I've done that. I've done that. How did it go down? What happened? It went very smoothly. I mean, nothing bad happened. I didn't get caught. What grade was it? Like, what happened? I was in high school. It was like my first boyfriend that I ever had, and I snuck him in the house, in the living room, because my room was like right across the hall from mom's room, so it wouldn't have really worked if I took him to my room. So we snuck in to my to the living room and hung out a little bit. What'd y'all do? We hung out a little bit. Like what? What'd y'all do? Netflix chilled a little. What do you mean by that? Sadie, what do you think we did? So y'all did, y'all got nasty. We did Netflix and the, chill. In the living room? In the living room. But not on the couch. It wasn't on the couch. So y'all did on the floor? Mm -hmm. I had respect for my mom at that time. Yeah, and obviously not yourself. Next question. It was my boyfriend. It wasn't a one night stand. High school, that's young. I was like 18. You are influenced other people in high school. Right I was now 18 and I was, I was of a legal age. I was of legal age. Thank you. Next question. Oh my god. If it started like that. <laughs> Have you ever used a dating app? Like, okay, are you saying have I ever used a dating app and met up with somebody? 
Tinder. Uh, I've used Tinder, but I did Tinder for entertainment purposes. I didn't meet up with anybody or really. You told me you never had a Tinder. When did I say that? You, you told me that. I had a Tinder way back in the day. You never told me you had a Tinder. Yeah, when Tinder was hot. The truth is coming out just for y'all. We are learning new info as we speak about him. Sin's lying though. I told you said you would never download Tinder. That's a nasty app and all that. It you is. told me that. Yes, because Tinder turned into something that it wasn't at the beginning. Yes. Nowadays, I would say disgusting. Whoever's on Tinder, you're nasty. You have one priority, and that is to do the dirty with that person. Some people find love on Tinder, but there's some crazy people on these dating apps and you have to be careful. Very careful. You really do have to be careful. You'll get catfished. Or kidnapped or other things can happen. So would you entertain on Tinder? Who'd Just the swiping. Just the swiping. Like, you know, it was like, ooh, so I matched with somebody. Anything? No. God, no. Okay. See, Maya's listening too. She just hopped up. Next question. See, we're getting a tea, y'all. I told y'all we're testing her innocence. And so far, she's not innocent at all. I was going to say, am I innocent? She's guilty. Nope. So far, you're not. You probably already failed, but we'll see how it ratios out in the end. Have you failed any classes in school? Oh, my God. Yes. Yes. What classes? I can't even tell you. I failed almost every class. Are you dumb? I think she's I dumb. I think she's dumb. I think she's dumb. Think are you, dumb. like, medically speaking, are you, like, like, I'm not trying to be mean. Like, are you dumb? Not necessarily. Well, it depends on what you mean by failing. So I'm with a dummy. Basically. No, it depends on what you mean by failing. You mean, like, a C, D? Being dumb and failing classes is not cute, y'all. I just want you to know that. But continue. I'm asking you to be specific in failing yeah. classes. Have you failed classes? Like where what grade? Like drop out? No. Have you failed any classes? History, math. What classes did you fail? I did fail history. I'm very bad with history. Um math one year. I didn't do so well, but then I ended up um like junior senior year i i was in honors classes but like middle school so they put a dummy who failed classes in honors classes yeah i did make honors english because i'm very good with my grammar thank you and then i can't even remember the math class that i took but it was it was a crazy math class that i took so how many classes total you think you failed in my throughout life your, yeah school career Five. Damn! That's a lot. Stop. You make some me people feel bad. Some people maybe one class here or there. You talking about five? I was. So you behind, you you some grades behind your actual class you're supposed to graduate with. I was probably supposed to be pulled back in one class way back in the day. Maybe beginning of middle school. And let me explain myself. Let me explain myself. I was so focused on sports and athletics that I really didn't care what was going on in school. Like, if I was in the middle of class, like, I'm thinking about sports and, like, that practice that day. Like, I was so focused on sports and athletics that I didn't care much about school. Now, high school got real serious. If you were having a certain grade in class, you couldn't play sports. So... Freshman year of high school was my first time in my life of getting a B honor roll. And then you failed five classes after that. No. So you got yourself together in high school, basically. You didn't fail in high school. No. Okay. So you failed I did all not your classes fail in high school. Coming up through middle school and all that, Elementary. and it changed your life. Yeah. Okay. And I'm not a dummy, by the way. <laughs> That's me. Next question. Have you ever kissed a girl? Yes. Yes, I've kissed a girl. You yeah. have? I've kissed my best friend Alexis on New Year's, multiple New Year's, because we didn't have anybody to kiss, so we just kissed each other. 
So you're just gonna say the name and everything right here? Yeah, it's a, I mean, it's not, it wasn't like a sexual kiss. It was like, oh, happy new year. She's giving y'all all the tea, straight up truth, y'all. Y'all be the judge over there. Because they judging. They sitting over here judging you right now. Do not judge. It's no. not nice. Here we go. They're testing your Family innocence. Family channel. They're testing your innocence. Next question. <laughs> Have you ever stalked someone's location? Stalked? Someone's location. I stalked my brother's location. Still. Other than that, no. I used to stalk you a little bit. Like, Maybe. if you... Yeah. You, I always tell you in my exact location. No, you don't. And tell you exactly where I am. No, he Fellas didn't. out there, always tell your ladies exact location so they don't have to go through these things. And you don't have to stress them out like I do. Amen. I always tell you my exact location. I think I have my location on so you can see me at all times. Oh. Yeah. Let's so not get into your innocence me. right now. Mm -hmm. Next question. Next. See how quickly we move tribe. Next question. <laughs> Have you smoked either hookah cigarettes or weed? Yes. Which ones? At some point in my life, all of the above. I've smoked hookah before. I've smoked a cigarette. And I've smoked marijuana. So do you still smoke these that. things no. every day? No. But you have smoked them at least yes. once in your life? Yes. Do you remember your first time smoking a cigarette or hookah or anything? Yeah. When? Cigarette was um, when I lived at my apartment at 17 and no, maybe I was 18. All my roommates smoked cigarettes and all their friends, and we went outside one day, and I was like, let me try that. And they were like, you don't try it, you're going to throw up, because you're not used to it. And sure enough, I tried it, and I threw up. See what I mean, y'all? Watch the group of friends you keep around, because they can put a bad influence on your actions, and you may regret them in the long run. Very true, So yes. keep your circle smart, tight, and make sure they're a good influence on your life. Amen. Woo! Your innocence right now. Tribe, what y'all over there thinking? Comment down below. Is hand innocent so far? Oh my God. Be nice to me, Tribe. Here we go. Have you sent nudes? In your life. You've received quite a bit of my Besides news. me, have you sent nudes? To other people yeah. throughout your life? Yeah, I have. Mm, mm, mm. Not to randoms though. I would never just randomly send out nudes. I'm not that person. I would, no. I have respect for myself. Next question. Have you stole anything before? Have I stole anything? No. You've never stole anything in your life? No. I've borrowed. Oh, I just like that. I've borrowed things from people without them knowing, but I returned it. So you never stole anything? I've never stole okay. anything. Okay. Have you ever slid in a boy's DMs? Like sent a message to a dude first? No. So you've never been the one to send a no, message first? No, I cannot do that. I can't. No, I'm not the type. Got you. Got you. Have you ever had a one night stand with a guy? Hit and run. One night stand. <laughs> you let him get it and then nothing else after. Have you ever had a one night stand? What if it wasn't like planned one night stand? Like what if you planned to see that person and then did it? Is that a one night stand? Huh? Huh? Like, it ended up being a one night stand because you didn't want to go back. Is that a one night stand? No, like you met him the same day and y'all did something the same oh, day. Oh God, no. A one night stand. You met him out. No. You took him back. This happened. No. That's a one night stand. No. And let me tell you why. 
for one, I just wouldn't do that. But two, I don't, I never like bringing men into my place. It bothered me. You just never know what a man's going to do. So There's I never did that. There. And then it was just weird for me to go to his place. So I just never did that. I couldn't do that. So one night stand. Have you ever got a hickey? Of course, besides me. Okay. But have you got a hickey from someone else? I think I have. You think? Be honest with the tribe. Have you or not? God, that was 15 years ago. Bring it back. Have you? Yeah, I think I have. I have. Okay. Interesting. We are all learning new God. things today, tribe. Sorry, tribe. Have you ever had a friend with benefits? Like you had a friend with benefits. Like you had a friend that you liked and y'all end up being actual couple. No, no. A close friend. I had a guy, I was really young, so like I don't know if we were dating at that time, but we were really close and we did just meet up to do things, but I don't think that was. What things? Be. Sexual things. So y'all met up to do sexual things? I mean, we hung out, but we knew while we were hanging out. And he was your friend? I mean... And you weren't in a relationship? But I was so young that I think we were talking. We just never made it official. How young but we were, were like, you doing these nasty things? You asking too many questions. No, how young? Young. How young? Cause you have a lot of kids right now watching. <laughs> Seventeen. Hmm. Seventeen. Okay. And y'all weren't in a relationship. Y'all just doing things. To me, we were. But I don't. We never made it official, so I would say no, we weren't dating. So that would be the only thing. Maybe friends with benefits. I don't know. Hmm. At that time, though, was that such a thing? Did you have friends with benefits? Was that a thing? So you're the type of girl, you don't have to be in a relationship to do things with you. I'm not that type of girl, no. That's what it sounded like. Sandy, I her. was like, in, I was a teenager. I was a single teenager trying to live it up. We all have a past. Next question. All right. We're getting all the tea. How many more questions we got? Cause Actually, this is the last question. Thank God. Here we go. And oh yeah. <laughs> Woo! Last question. Have you ever done the nasty on your cycle? It could have been accidental oh or what? On your cycle. Oh my Have God. Have you ever done the nasty no. with someone? No. Are you sure? Is that the complete truth? Maybe me and you did it one time. What? You know me better than that. No, honestly, honestly, I'm telling a little bit about myself right now that most people just probably don't want to know, but most girls started their menstrual cycle in middle school. I didn't start mine until maybe senior year. I started extremely late. So you had late cycles. I had, I started really late. So really, you've been the only one that I've been with since I've had a cycle. Tribe. That right there was the last question. How are you feeling, Han? I feel like you now know everything about me. Tribe. But let me tell you, if you don't think I was innocent based off of those questions, I'm definitely very innocent now. And because you just put me way under the spot, I'm gonna do this to you. What? We did not discuss that. Tribe, tribe, tell him it's only fair. It's up to the tribe. Comment down below. 
If you yeah. would love to see a video of hand asking me questions, or you want to see a part two on hand, because you have a lot of interesting things. You have a lot of interesting things. No. I can come up with some more questions and we can ask you and get even deeper. We're both learning things. Or would y'all like to hear, you know? Because that would be me. very interesting. Stop. I'm telling y'all, that would be very interesting. You think so? Yes. Tribe. Y'all comment down below if you'd like to see a part two of Han or if you'd like to see Han ask Sam some questions. Comment down below, do you think Han's innocent or not? Cause baby, you kept it a hundred though. I'm gonna just I be honest. I did keep it a hundred. You, you told me to, I right handed you did. the trial. You did, she was so honest. Y'all gotta respect that at the end of the day. I didn't expect you to be that honest. I learned really? some new things about, no. You be faking it. Nah, you do be honest. You do be straight up. Hit the like button. That's that thumbs up button right down below. Hit that subscribe button. As y'all see, we're almost to 4K subscribers. We're going to be talking about giveaways and all that once we hit 4K. That's our goal. Please, y'all turn your notification bells on so you can be notified every time Team Sand and Team Hand drop another banger for the tribe. And we'll see y'all next video. I know y'all missed us. We missed y'all. And we tired of leaving y'all. We've been going through some transitions. But the more love y'all show in these videos, the yes. more y'all want to see us. Yes, very true. See y'all next video. We out!